familia. Welcome, welcome. My name is Magdalen Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies for goodies. This week marks six years that I've been on YouTube. I cannot believe it's been six years. I started March 13th. That was my very first YouTube video. And it's crazy how MAC Cosmetics sent me 19 of their, what are these called? <laughs> what? Am I tripping? Maximal, duh, that's what I'm saying. Maximal lipsticks to receive PR from MAC particularly is like Wow. And the fact that I'm filming this the week that six years is here upon us, I cannot believe it. And mind you, I've had these for like a month because you know, it's been raining out here. My nose is running. I know I need to really get into this video because 19 swatches, this makeup look is already up on the channel. You already saw in celebration of my six years on YouTube. <laughs> you wanted to do like a different makeup look, super cool tone with blue mascara. So I need to comb this little hair. This collection is their new matte collection an updated formula of the old soul popular lipsticks i'm so freaking excited the packaging's updated it has mac in black writing versus like the old one you know it, it was in silver writing this is a tad bigger wow that is bigger and lids Ooh, there's mac written here you see right there Oh my God, oh my God. Ooh, okay, it smells like MAC lipstick. You know how I typically do lightest to darkest? I'm not doing that because there's so many. Keeping them in the order of the number that I have on the box and on the lipstick. So 605 is the first one and the very last one is 697. As you can tell, this is not the darkest shade I have. Like something like this is the deepest, but this is 660. That's gonna be the easiest because we have so many. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm a lip swatch every Everything in studio lighting and in daylight and we're gonna do an eat test too I'm excited I don't know what we're gonna eat we'll talk about it and I'll give you all the info about these let's do it here I'm finally doing it swatching all of these bad boys this is the order we're gonna go in because they're numbered I showed you already but here at the top are numbers I'm trying to keep it in the order that I received them let's start it oh my god I'm so excited Starting off with the first one 605 honey love This is the shade Honey Love. And in daylight, this is Honey Love. Moving right along to 612 Russian Red. This is the shade Russian Red. And in daylight, this is Russian Red. Moving on to 622 Antique Velvet. This is the shade Antique Velvet. And in daylight, this is Antique Velvet. Moving on, moving on to 626 Whirl. This is the shade Whirl. And in daylight, this is Whirl. Moving right along to 630D for danger. This is the shade D for danger. And in daylight, this is D for danger. Moving right along to 640 Red Rock. This 
is the shade Red Rock. And in daylight, this is Red Rock. Next is 646 Marrakesh. This is the shade Marrakesh. And in daylight, this is Marrakesh. Next up, 648, you wouldn't get it. This is the shade you wouldn't get it. And in daylight, this is you wouldn't get it. Moving and grooving to 650 sword. This is the shade sword. And in daylight, this is sore. On to the next 660 avant garde net. <laughs> this is the shade avant garde net. And in daylight, this is Avant Garnet. Next one up, 662 Sugar Dada. This is the shade Sugar Dada. And in daylight, this is Sugar Dada. On to the next, 666, sweet deal. This is the shade Sweet Deal. And in daylight, this is Sweet Deal. Moving on to 668, Forever Curious. This is Forever Curious. And in daylight, this is Forever Curious. We are moving right along to 669, Warm Teddy. Hey, this is the shade Warm Teddy. And in daylight, this is Warm Teddy. On to 674, no correlation. This is the shade, no correlation. And in daylight, this is no correlation. Next one up, 686, Lipstick Snob. This is the shade Lipstick Snob. And in daylight, this is Lipstick Snob. Next one, 689 Captive Audience.
This is the shade Captive Audience. And in daylight, this is Captive Audience. Moving right along to 690 Twig Twist. This is the shade Twig Twist. And in daylight, this is Twig Twist. Last but not least, 697 Flamingo. This is the shade Flamingo. And in daylight, this is Flamingo. Ooh, fam! Done. 19 shades swatch. Even got the arm swatches for you because you know it cannot be a full video without every single swatch. Let me give you info about this and then we'll talk about it. The new Maximal Silky Matte Lipstick come in 37 shades. They retail for $25 each. This is a silky matte lipstick with full coverage pigment, rich color, and 12 hours of comfortable wear. Conditions and nourishes the lips. Immediate and eight hour moisture, comfortable formula. Lips look visibly fuller. Long wearing color true for 12 hours. Non-flaking, non-caking. Available at Ulta. These released, I feel like about a month ago. The first thing that I can tell is the packaging's a lot bigger, tad bit more product from the old one. So this is the old one, this is the new one. You see the black is a lot taller and then the silver is taller as well in the packaging. And then the lip bullet. This one I haven't used that much. We're gonna still consider this kind of new. The formula feels very nice, very, very, very creamy. I absolutely loved how easy it was to apply as you guys know I don't ever wear lip liners to help me with the lip swatch just so you can see the true colors lip liners tend to update the colors a little bit and or change it a little which is why I don't ever use it not when I do first impressions these are very pigmented very smooth you guys saw how some of the swatches did stain my lips because we went from colors all over the place you can tell the exact order so you can see we have light red all kinds of colors mixed in so definitely going to stain my lip it's common but what i was surprised about was how pigmented these are that when i put the color on top you couldn't really see that stain shine through so you know this thing is pigmented mac makeup is known to be a very pigmented brand in general it's like that oldie but goodie that brand that will always stand the test of time and these lipsticks are no less i'm so happy i got to lip swatch on 19 for you and the sun was shining one of my favorite ones was warm teddy which is this one right here i already memorized the order because warm teddy it's not too warm but it's like the perfect neutral i love this red right here you see this blue undertone red 640 red rock i really like that one i love this mauve shade right here which is soar 650 yeah these shades are beautiful you can see the pigment here like these are freaking pigmented actually talking about the swatches let me show you here how they look in straight up sunlight you can just see the pigment the creaminess the silkiness of these lipsticks by the way they do have the mac scent you can see in these swatches how creamy how pigmented how beautiful the undertones are i do feel like they are very different all the shades are beautiful except for flamingo and then this one was lipstick snob it just clashed all the way with my skin tone mac doesn't do me wrong i like the lipsticks i knew these lipsticks were going to be really really good but i have I've never had one this many lipsticks from MAC and two done a MAC collection lip swatch of like the original ones. I've lip swatched other ones before. I do see, look, these do transfer. They do leave you like a little mat to your lips. Still gonna go get some food because I'm starving. We're gonna do a quick eat test, but I don't know if it's gonna last. So let me apply again and then see, maybe by dabbing and then applying again, it'll work. Hey, I got 
some Mediterranean food. I love a good kebab, okay? I've been craving this since last week. Oh, since the Revlon lip swatch. So that day I did Indian food, but then my poppy kind of craving Mediterranean, you know? First and foremost, oh yeah, look. It got on the, on the straw. Yeah, this is gonna transfer. This is a Shirazi salad. It consists of Persian cucumbers, tomatoes, cilantro, olive oil, lime. My favorite salad. You throw in a cucumber and a lime, I'm all there. What other food should I have next? I feel like I'm running out of ideas. The other day I was thinking of having fried chicken. So I always get the steak. It comes with tomato, a jalapeno. I don't really eat that. I'm just like here with the pita, rice, and meat. Basmati rice, which is this rice right here, is one of my favorite rices. So bomb. And pita. What people typically do is like spread this tomato out in their rice. I'm like not huge on tomatoes. But let's see. I mean, it gives it a little bit of... Um, what is you guys' favorite food? I don't think I have a favorite food. I just love all kinds of food. No lie, this lipstick looks good. It hasn't budged. I mean, granted, I am eating with the fork, you know? They put a lot of pain on here. Let's see. I want to get like a little bite. A little spicy. Very spicy. I'm going to finish this whole plate. I'm so hungry. The jalapeno. Okay, the lipstick's like looking good. Let's do one more wipe. I see what they're talking about with the long wear. It like stains the lip and it stays on the lips. I would say it's passing the test. It does transfer. I would say yay. To an eat test that is not too messy. Yeah. Okay. Back to the outro. Thank you for your patience with these. I told you I was gonna do it and it took me a little while, but let me know which one is your favorite one. Have you purchased this new formula? Because I'm super excited about it. Something too that I appreciate is how easy it was to apply. I did use my brush to outline with some of the red shades, but for the most part, this was super, super easy to apply because this bullet, not only is it strong, it's not flimsy. I never felt like it was gonna break and sometimes I kind of would apply the lipstick like this, which is most likely to break if you like have it up high here. It's just such a sturdy lipstick that will last the test of time and it applies so freaking well, you know? Oh, I love that. I love you guys so, so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, but click the button right there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.